This is Shay with The Learning Project. Thank you for clicking on. And today I wanted to talk with you about sight words. Now sight words, also known as primer words in kindergarten, are words that students need to memorize, not sound out, but memorize and know on sight. Now in pre-K, they refer to them as pre-primer words. And in kindergarten, they refer to them as primer words or sight words. So sight words, they need to be able to know, memorize, not sound out, and know them on sight. Now, right now on my whiteboard, there are only a couple of words. Also, there are some numbers that are in there, but there are a couple of words, but by the end of the year, there will be over 120 words on the board that students would have memorized. Here is the list of 100 sight words that kindergartners need to learn throughout the school year. Again, it's also referred to as primer words. And we start off with a column in red, and then we make our way across, then we go down and we make our way across. So all of these 100 words, students will be able to memorize and know by the end of the school year. Sight words. Another strategy and technique that I use is to put the words on a PowerPoint. So I put those sight words on a PowerPoint and then what I do is I'll go through and I'll ask the students to tell me what word it is. This gives every child a chance to see the word, to practice the word, as well as to hear the word being said over and over again. So you just build a PowerPoint, put the words on that PowerPoint, and during class, I just ask them, okay, now we're gonna review our words. Now there's another technique that you can use with students for learning their sight words is called the word pyramid. And what it is is say if the word is jump, then the first letter that they will put down on their paper is a J. The next letter they will put down on their paper is a J and a U. Then the next letter they will put down is a J, U, M. And then the last letter they will put down on their paper would be the last letter in the word. So in this sense, they are building a pyramid. They're building a pyramid. Well, students will start off with writing an H, then they will write an H and an A, then an H-A-P, H-A-P-P, H-A-P-P-Y. This gives the student practice with seeing the word, breaking the word down, and building the word. You can use flashcards in order to help students to practice their sight words. Now I have used just a regular index cards where I've written the sight words on the card. And then I play lots of games with students with these flashcards. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but you can just get an index card and you can write down the word and then you can use them with students. This is how I use them in my classroom. I'll put the card face down on their desk, on each student's desk, then they turn it over after I say go, then they'll read the word to themselves or read it to a friend or a neighbor, and then when I call out the word, they'll get up, push in their chair, and bring the word to me and read to me what the word is. So I use a fun game. It's not expensive. All you need is just a sheet of paper and to write the words down, and then you can do this at home or you can do this in a classroom with your student or with your child. My students actually love this game. I give them a, a little reward at the end of the game for them knowing their sight words. So flashcards are one of the techniques and one of the games that you can play with students to learn their sight words. Something else that I use in my classroom to help students with writing their sight words is a whiteboard. It's a very simple tool. I ask students to pull out their whiteboard and their marker. And then I will give a student a word to write. Let's say the word is jump. I'll ask students to write the word jump three times. Students really enjoy using their whiteboard and their marker to practice writing their sight words. And this way I could just quickly observe to determine whether or not students know the word, whether or not they're writing their letters correctly, and then move on to the next word. Let's say the word is red. Then they can write the word red three times. The whiteboard. <laughs>